Okay, as a firearms instructor, safety is paramount with me. There's no bolt in this thing. There's absolutely no way this gun can fire. Using an unloaded rifle, Steve Cooper wanted to demonstrate to KBC9 Investigates not just down the scope, but what's beside it. The people on that road are in the danger zone? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're down, they're down range of that muzzle. The road to Marshall Junction shooting range has a caution sign about the target shooting area ahead, but Cooper says. But all it takes is that one vehicle coming down that road at the wrong time when somebody's shooting off this direction. I didn't see the bullet. Can you show me the bullet? Yes, I sure can. Cooper even showed us a bullet lodged in the wood that holds the caution sign up. Right there. Oh, wow. He's also concerned about a lack of sideburns to catch stray shots, the extra height needed on the backstops, and maintenance on target holders at this range roughly 4,000 people use every year. You don't know what that bullet's going to do. It can go, it can ricochet down, up, sideways. Ironically, if you read right there, and you see all the shotgun pellets. Cooper says he tried to raise safety concerns internally during his nearly four decade career with the conservation department. Cooper says he's found documentation of 22 of at least 39 unstaffed shooting ranges across the state with a lack of side berms. The big issue is safety. Now he's retired, he's speaking up. For 25 years, I've been told that this range is safe from administration. In the case of Marshall Junction, it's a safe place for folks to shoot and to enjoy. Missouri Conservation Deputy Director Aaron Jeffries says even with Cooper's concerns, he sees no reason to shut down the Marshall Junction rain. The, the people on that road are in the danger zone? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're down, they're down range of that muzzle. Would you agree? I, I've been there. It's, it's a 90 degree turn. I mean, it comes down to, sat, to individuals using the range correctly and properly. Jeffrey says Marshall Junction and all 70 of Missouri's public shooting ranges have incredible safety records. We average less than six incidents a year, and most of those are scope bumps where people bump their eye or they get their finger stuck in the receiver, so. Jeffries also says the administration has approved funding for new side berms and higher backstops at Marshall Junction. They're waiting on engineers and a budget process. He does say side berms are not necessary on all ranges based on the surrounding land, saying you can't just make assessments based on pictures. He also said annual inspections will continue at Marshall Junction and all ranges across the state. If there's a safety concern, we're not afraid to shut down a range to make the repairs. If I had the authority, I'd close this range down as we drove out of here. Cooper, meanwhile, says he's simply trying to make a case about safety and wanted you to know. All it takes is one, if you're that one. In Saline County, Missouri, Matt Fleener, KNBC 9 News.